Hello everyone! I hope you're all doing wonderful. Um, today I wanted to do, um, well I filmed a couple of videos today, but what I wanted to do right now was my two year dreadlock update video. So basically just a recollection of what I have to say about my dreads being two years old now and how they're acting and how I'm feeling with them and yeah because two years has made a difference on them dreads that's for sure I can't believe it's been two years wow time flies but um yeah um I just like looking back on things and I do want to keep them for a lot longer, so it would be fun to look back in a couple of years to how they look now, so and see the difference and film that. So I guess I'll show you my dreads. I'll one thing is I'm gonna be doing a timeline. I really don't have that many pictures of the progress, but I'll try to find as much as I can. Um, so this is what they look like now, basically. Two years. Can you see them there? I currently have some of the top ones, just a few tied up here with some of the normal hair. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like right now. And those are what my dreads look like now, two years old. Thank you so much for watching it, and here is the timeline. Alright, so here you can see my natural hair color. It's very dark brown, although it was straightened, but in here you can see what the natural texture of my hair was. Kind of wavy. I used to wear these silly bangs. <laughs> here is the first dread that I ever got, although I paid someone to do it, and you can see it's very tight, kind of thick for being a first dread. So I didn't like it, and with the blunt tip as well. I ended up um, brushing that out, and I made it myself. You can see it's much thinner, and with the tips, loose. And here I made a few more. You can see how the bottom layer started coming up, because I went slowly. Um, within a few months, I finished them. Here you can see what they looked like under my hair. So all the bottom layer was done. You can see they were very, very fluffy and super soft. Um, you can definitely see right there how thin they were and fluffy. Here they started to look more like dreads finally. Now here is where I really feel like they were starting to mature and look a lot more dread-like. And then I got the great idea to dye my tips. <laughs> I meant to dye them blue, but it turned out green, so I had that for a while. Although it's not healthy for your dreads at all to be bleaching them, so I do not recommend it, but it was fun. Here the, the tips were straightened. That's why they look like that, but still not healthy. <laughs> Here, now they're definitely looking more like dreads and nearing the two year mark. Here they are in a bun. Here they are more recently. You can see they're finally starting to get longer and growing instead of shrinking. And now they are two years and we have come to the end of the timeline. Sorry I don't have that many pictures, but I hope you enjoyed that. It's been an amazing journey. <laughs> I am very, very happy with them. No regrets. Very happy I've done it. Um, what I've learned 
in these two years is a lot of patience because they didn't always look this way and um, I'm finally to a point where I'm like really content with them super excited seeing them grow and stuff because they do kind of plateau at a moment where they're really actually shrinking and it's really sad but you just have to kind of like stick through it and just tighten them palm roll them which is something I didn't do very much at all really not but it helps a lot to keep them nice and uh, neat and um, yeah, but patience, you know, you need that for every realm of life, so it has been a good reminder of, you know, how patience can bring what you want and things that you desire. And um, some of them have gone pretty crazy, but what can you do if you don't do that much maintenance on them like I've done, like I haven't done any maintenance? Um, well, kind of none, then they might go a little crazy. They really might, like you got these, look at those crazy bumps and loops, but it's okay. They're all, the good thing about dreads is that they're all super unique and they don't have to be a certain way. There's no right or wrong way of doing them. People actually do them a ton of different ways. And um, yeah, I am very content with them and it's something that I always wanted to do. And at one point, I thought I would never do because of society. So I'm glad that I did do it. And uh, I know it's not permanent. So I hope you guys know that too. If you're ever thinking about doing dreads, they really are not permanent. Um, you can brush them out. So don't be scared. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I will <clears throat> go ahead and put here the timeline of the pictures that I have found and just so we can kind of see a process of how they have looked. They definitely started out much longer than they shrunk and they're finally growing back a little. So yes and I also did a dreadlock tag which I will link below um, which is just a tag I found about dreads with a whole bunch of other just kind of random questions about dreads if you want to know more about that because this is just more like a timeline of the dreads but yeah I'm gonna stop bam babbling on now I talked enough and the other tags if you want to see me talking more just watch that but um yeah <laughs>